Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be covering a updated version of one of my old experimental builds. Um, I am going to class this as a new experimental build since it is a new build. But um, it's basically a upgrade of an old one I did not too long ago. Um, if you remember I did a build on Stamina Thief Secret and Slugger Secret paired together. Um, I hadn't seen anyone do it prior to that, and the video did really well as well, so uh, a lot of people definitely liked Stamina Thief with Slugger. Um, so basically, due to Fatalis's, uh like set bonus inheritance, uh, we can actually do that again, but make it much better than it was before. So, jumping right into this, we have... Um, a whole range of decos that are quite beefy, I'm not going to lie. There is an alternative to this, I'll get into that later when I actually cover the part that you can change. Um, so, obviously we have Crit Ice uh, 7 because we are using the Fatalis Hammer. And with all of our crit options here, we will be able to get to 100% uh, but only through the use of Agitator. So you will have to wait for Agitator to proc before you can do that. And then, obviously, when it does, you'll have 100%. Um, no real way of getting 100% without that, uh, honestly. You could swap out the Acrobat there for Maximum Might and get to 95% before Agitator Brox. But uh, with how, you know, people mostly use Hammer, you'll want to be charging your Hammer. And, obviously, your Stamina will be draining. So, and with only one point of maximum might, it's not going to be proccing, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's that. Obviously, we have Stamina Thief. I decided to go with Stamina Thief slash Crit Eye, just to clean up my Crit Eye, but also get Stamina Thief, because I'm gonna, not going to lie, um, it was really hard to make this build perfect. It is so hard to slot in this stuff when you have to go for 100% crit. That's the biggest downside with these Fatalis weapons is you have to put in crit, like so much of it. And I mean, I'm not even getting 100% without Agitator. I have to have Agitator to get 100%, and I have to have Agitator 7 to do it too. So, well actually, I only need 6, but the 4 extra attack is nice. Um, anyway, there's that. We got Attack Boost, uh, which gets cleaned up in our Mantle. I decided to throw in Peak Performance here, just because I don't know what else to put in here. So I threw Peak Performance in the Mantle. You can change this to whatever you want. You may not even be using a Glider Mantle. So you might not even be able to put that in there to begin with. So, you know, a lot of people use Temporal. I personally hate Temporal. I don't really like that it disappears in 5 seconds. So I use Glider with Rocksteady and Safe Landing. So I can just get back up immediately. Um, safe Landing can easily be swapped out if you aren't a fan of this. You can put it to pretty much whatever you want. You can get another point of Handicraft if you want. Um... You know, since this has quite low sharpness. But we do have True Razor Sharp, so two Handicraft is more than enough right now. Um, but you could put in uh, Coalescence, if you're a fan of that. That's 12 extra attack. You could put in Clutch Claw Boost. I don't know. You could pretty much put in whatever you want. That's a free two or a one slot. So you could you could clean up Attack Boost with that if you wanted. Uh, you could clean up Divine Blessing without needing the Mantle. It's completely up to you. So, yep. That's the build. Plug of 5, Stamina of uh, stamina 5, Divine Blessing 4, Attack Boost 6, Agitator 7, Cry 7, and then obviously the basics. Um, stun Resistance comes in free, Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit, you always got to have. Handicraft 2, this is actually the part that we can change. If you do not have a Handicraft, like a 4 slot Handicraft that gives you Handicraft 2 straight up, what you can do is you can actually switch your gloves to um, the alpha version, so you get Handicraft free built in, and then you could put in, uh, I'll actually just do it here for you, uh, so you could put in the extra attack, so let's go find that, extra attack here, um, and yeah, that, that's actually it, yeah, that's, that's, that's the alternative right there. So basically, you get one point of Handicraft extra, than the other version, but you lose one point of attack. Um, because Handicraft 3 isn't really necessary, I prefer to go with the other route since I have a double Handicraft duel. Um, so yeah, that's that. All personal preference. 
completely up to you uh, if you lack the jewels. I think also you could actually switch... Um, yeah, actually I just found another alternative that I did not see before. So here we have exactly what I just had. Um, yeah, You would put attack here, I believe. And then I would switch out these two and go with stamina thief handicraft twice. So you, you'd get the exact same results without needing the fat handicraft jewel. So yep, those are the two other alternatives um, that I didn't see before, but there you go. And that's the build. Um, so, let's, uh, let's look at damage with just the attack first off. Uh, we'll just do like a basic combo here. Just your regular attacks. You can see I did not get a crit in one of those hits, which is rather unfortunate. Um, as you see, it does a lot of damage. Because it has 2,300 uh, attack, which is very, very good. And peak performance should get a little bit higher. Yeah, a little bit higher there. Still missed that crit there. Rather unfortunate missing those crits, but Agitator will clean it up, so it's not all lost. Uh, but yeah, that's the hammer. There's not really much else to say. Uh, of course, like usual, I'm going to show this thing off in a hunt. Um, don't know what we're going to fight, but I'm going to beat something up with this hammer. Um, if you saw my Safi slash Fatalis Legend video with this hammer in it, this is a much better build than that one, uh, 100%. Even with Stamina Thief, and if you actually, you know, don't want Stamina Thief, or you want to try something else, you could use this exact build and just remove all the Stamina Thief and put in whatever you want. Whatever you want. So you could get rid of these two, you could put in one more Expert, free up a 4 slot, get rid of these two, put Handicraft slash something else, or just put a double Handicraft and then free up another slot, put Attack in here. So you get attack boost 7. You know, there's a lot you can do if you don't want Stamina Thief. But the build is focusing on Stamina Thief. It is an upgrade uh, from our old experimental build. That's what this is about. So, yeah, that, all that's irrelevant. Anyway, this is where the video ends. If you do not want to see the hunt later on, if you do, though, continue watching. But if not, thanks for watching and adios.